All right, beautiful morning. Um, welcome to today's program of West Secret Mindset Mentorship Class. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with this wonderful, beautiful week. Uh, it's been, yesterday has been the holiday uh, period here in Nigeria. We celebrated the Democracy Day, but, and that was why the class couldn't hold yesterday. But today, we are live in this beautiful week, and that is why we are come with a band. So ladies and gentlemen, get ready as we're about to take you into an amazing, uh, an amazing, beautiful, something that is electrifying, something that will ignite your week. And if you take yield to some of these things we're going to be sharing with you in this beautiful week, as we're going to be taking you on a very beautiful, interesting topic, uh, which we tag change your mindset you know how to change your mindset because nothing changes until you change so but you just want to wait all right it's your regular host dr afolabi olatunji uh again we are back so wherever you're tuning in from you're watching us in this program we want to say welcome all right we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic that is so dear to me and i believe it is the beginning of that change we have all been envisaging uh, to happen to us, not only in this year, but every other year. You see, but it's very certain that we need to, that it is the greatest key or the only thing you need to know to have those dreams, those aspirations, those potentials of yours that you have not yet tapped into to come alive. And ladies and gentlemen, our weekly teaching series is gonna be tagged nothing changes until you change your mindset all right nothing changes until you change your mindset so i want to begin by letting us to understand or with this powerful phrase for things to change you have to change that's the way i'm going to study for things to change you and i have to change how do you change afalabi Pointing out from the word of minds, Moreau, that said, nothing changes until you change your mind. The mind is the everything. The mind is so deep. And what is in the mind, everything, that is what life change. Everything that is going to make that beautiful things or those dreams of yours come to so reality, it's all in the mind. And for this mind to change, ladies and gentlemen, it all begins from the way you think, the kind of thought you have for yourself, the kind of thought you conceive every single day, you know, association, you know, you know, things that you're not paying attention to, and yet they are the, the, the cause of the predicament, they are the cause of where you are, or the tragedy that has befallen on you. Now I'll tell you something that the greatest tragedy in life is not dead. The greatest tragedy in life are, is, is you living that life without a purpose. How do you start maximizing the best of your potential and eventually living that life you know, of purpose? Now, these are the reasons why we're here. I mean, specifically, that is why this program is put together. You know, I'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I, I, I remember some years ago uh, when I was still very active in the Nigerian Navy. I was, I was there in the Navy. I remember joining the Navy with the energy. I was so strong. You know, like we just think that you've got the power. You know, nothing can, you know, nobody can come after you. Uh, so you think you have everything. You think you, you know, you, you got the power, you think you can oppress or nobody can really intimidate or nothing. You just think that you got, you know, everything as a young sailor. So I think I have everything at my disposal, you know, talking about power and now you can get to anybody. I started living life the way I wanted. I was, you know, I drink a lot. I was involved in some crazy things like doing drugs, you know, smoking weed and, you know, doing some crazy things, you know. I mean, you hardly check me then and you're not going to find a, you know, a stick of cigarettes in my pocket, you know. I was just, I was just out there loose, thinking that that's the best of life. One of the biggest things that changed my life was, was somebody, a lady once said to me one time, 
And this person told me, said, Afolabi, he said, do you realize that you are changing? In fact, this person told me categorically that this, this drink, all this drink by the roadside, I started getting involved, you know, doing some nasty things, ladies and gentlemen. I, I was just lost in that thing. And this person said, do you realize that you are changing? Your skin is changing. And I started that day. In fact, that day was the turning point for me. And when that person spoke this to me, I went back, I, I evaluate my life, knowingly that I think I've known everything. Man, you don't come near me, I'm gonna come after you. It was so wild, a young self, a young military man. Then I started realizing that truly I am changing. Truly, is it the life that I want to live? That person spoke something into my life. And that word the person spoke to me really changed my perspective of life. I started going back to study more, went back to school, got myself deep inside education. That got my time. The time I was supposed to be wasting doing nasty things, I, I started putting into something quality to help me have my life in order is the beginning that was the beginning of everything for me ladies and gentlemen that was many many years ago but i thank god that person spoke something into my life how the mind is the beginning of everything that was why i said the greatest tragedy in life is not death the greatest tragedy in life or tragedy in life is that life you're living without a purpose how do you start living a life with purpose? Can you imagine that it's more tragic to be alive and not know why than to be dead and not know life? Because that life, you're talking about the minutes you spend, the hours you spend, or you're putting into it every single day. Remember one of our biggest slogans as we always want to round up our class and say, don't just go out there candidate, but make the day count. That is you living a life of purpose. That is we telling you that you can live a life of purpose. That is we telling you that to live a life of purpose, you need to start reevaluating your life. What you do, and it starts with your thinking. And Nightingale once said, he said, you know, thought are things for you to change the things you don't want in your life, you need to start changing your thought. Ladies and gentlemen, what are the things you're putting in every day? Remember, there's a saying that says garbage in is garbage out. What do you listen to? Who do you take advice from? What are the things you've been surrounded by? What are the things that get you going every single day? Are you the type that thinks that, you know, life is just going to change all of a sudden? Are you the type that thinks that, you know, maybe your, your past, your, your, the, the mistake you did in some certain business or things are still the thing that is still keeping you down, that is making you not to see ahead of what the kind of potential, the greatest gift that is, you know, that God has destined for. I want to tell you that this morning that I'm convinced that you can start living that life and you have something, a potential that is loaded with stuff and we haven't seen yet. We all have it, ladies and gentlemen. Can you imagine when uh, Les Brown once said, he said, you know, you staying, you know, imagine you lying down on your sick bed and you have those gifts standing by you looking at you and said, maybe you, your, your enemy, you, maybe you're dead. And those gifts and potential, they're going to stand by your bedside and they'll be looking at you and say, we came to you, only you can give us life, but we have to die with you. Can you imagine you not living to the best of your potential? If I'm out of fact, some of our greatest gifts, according to my tomorrow, he said it is what? If I want to ask you here, some of your greatest gifts or the, the, the greatest uh, gift ever or the greatest or the worthiest places ever in the world, if I ask you now, 
will be that you tell me maybe it's Iran, maybe it's Kuwait, where you have those oil and gas or those UAE or the, the wealthiest country or the wealthiest places on earth. Can I tell you something? My, my small reward said, he said some of the greatest or the wealthiest places in life, he said, is what is the graveyard? Hmm. I hope somebody can ponder over that. It's the graveyard. He said the greatest graveyard are the job we do. It's the graveyard. He said a lot of people go to the graveyard without discovering the best of their potentials. Can you imagine if you are no more, what would people say of you? Imagine those gifts, those talents you have, those books you're supposed to write, those lives you're supposed to impact, those music that you are supposed to, some people, some persons are supposed to be a musician, some persons are supposed to be, you know, maybe another Mike Adenuga, another, you know, Dangote. You know, some persons are supposed to be, you know, among the real, wealthiest, richest person. But guess what? They refuse to live to the best of their potential because of what? They refuse to change their mind. They refuse to change the way they think. Your philosophy is so corrupt. You need to start learning how to change your mind. Nothing can bury you faster than your career that you are trapped in. And jobs are one of those biggest traps, ladies and gentlemen. Jobs. Most of us, we just allow ourselves to be buried and allow uh, the, the jobs for, for those in the corporate world. I've been there before. I've been there. I work, ladies and gentlemen, with promises. Oh, Afolabi, we're going to get you this house. After this particular job, you know, we're going to give you the key to your own duplex. Hello? It never came to reality. I work, ladies and gentlemen. I work. But something changes. Something changed my life. Personal development. And that was why, the reason why I will always want to give back to the industry of direct because it helps me to discover myself. It helps me to bring out the best of my potential. When I was compelled to reading books, when I was compelled to listening to mentors, leaders, people that have achieved greatness in their life, I started listening, I started watching, I, started, I dedicated my life. Nothing comes across me, Not, nothing, nothing, no distraction, whatever. Because I see that for me to live from where I am to where I'm going in the life, I needed to be focused, read book, and follow what these guys are doing. So that's why I'm telling you guys, there are some things you have to let go in your life. You can't be trapped in your past. Let your past go. Nothing changes until you change. How do you start changing your life? How do you start changing your life? How do you start bringing and living to the best of your potential? So I want to charge you this morning to, to, to find your purpose. Find your purpose in life. Because when you find your purpose in life, guess what happens? You automatically find your potential and then you become unstoppable. We will still going to be teaching you more on how you can discover the best of your potential or your purpose in life. That's going to be a different topic on its own. And we will take you through it, myself, and, and all the uh, teachers here. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to start changing it. Don't be trapped in your past, in your fear. Don't be trapped into the things that has cost you down. I want to charge you this morning to get up and stand up 10 times. When you fall once, I stand up 10 times. That's what Dwayne Wade, one of the biggest NBA star, once said. He said, when I fall one, I stand up 10 times. I want to charge you to stand up 10 times. We've been through a lot in our life. Don't be trapped in complacency. Don't be trapped by your job. Don't be trapped by what somebody tells you you cannot do. Don't be trapped by, you know, association, the way you think. Don't be trapped by the things you are exposed to. Be trapped by the reality of life that I am going to be living to the best of my potential. That I am convinced that I'm loaded with stuff that the world haven't seen yet. That you are going to contribute and be of impact 
So the world around you, the people around you, the society, the things you know that that you can give value to. You need to. One of the things we're doing with this program is how to give you the value to make you know that we are also being of that impact. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing changes until you change. And those who cannot change their mind cannot change anything. Those who cannot change their mind cannot change anything. It's very important. Nothing changes until you change. Now, let me show you how I tell you, I said progress is impossible without a change. You see, progress is impossible without a change. And those who cannot change their mind cannot change anything. Can you imagine for you to progress in life, you need to change. So the element of change is inevitable. You have to go through that change. And for the change to happen in your life, ladies and gentlemen, there will be some certain circumstances, some certain things that are going to make you think it's not going to happen, which we call challenges. There are obstacles you have to cross, the orders you have to cross in your life. It's very key, ladies and gentlemen. Can you imagine people telling you, oh, man, it's impossible. The only thing that is impossible is to remove the I am and then go for the possible. And those, that, that's the way I work. I don't mind what you tell me. If I'm going after anything, I want to achieve anything, I go to the fullest. Here we're not paid. But guess what motivates us? You. Everyone watching us. The people, the impact we're having in our, in our society, in our community, on our country, on our continent, all across the world, to see people change. The message of hope, the message of change on how you can start living to the full effort of potential. I hope you get the message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we draw the curtain this morning. And I hope you will start seeing and then you start discovering that the, 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 the greatest tragedy in life is not death. The greatest tragedy in life is you not living that life with a purpose. Life without purpose is the biggest tragedy, and you have to change it this morning, starting from now. And that's one of the things we're going to be teaching you. I want, hope you can join us tomorrow and the rest of the days before the weekend to learn more about how to start changing that mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your regular host, Dr. Afolabi Olatunji. We hope to see you tomorrow, same time, same link on the same program, where Secret Mindset Mentorship Class, where we give you the best of value and then help you to discover the best of your potential. Here at West Secret Mindset Mentorship Class, our goal is to be able to educate, equip, and enrich you with all the necessary resources and information that will empower you mentally to live the best of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you same time, same link on the same program. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment on our YouTube page whenever the video is out. This is how we can get the message of change to the people all across the world. And we hope you can be part of it. Take care. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same link, or the same.